Hey guys, today I'm going to be running through a quick video on the iliac arteries and their branches and hopefully give you a couple memory aids to help you remember the names. So we have our aorta coming down towards our pelvis and it divides into the left and right common iliac which I've outlined here in black. Then the, the common iliac has an external branch and an internal branch and the internal branch further divides into an anterior and a posterior branch. So uh, our aorta goes into a common iliac. So let's say this is our right common iliac. We also have a left one, but for the sake of our examples here, we're just going to do the right one. The left is exactly the same. So the right common iliac has an external branch, which you'll see up here. It's this thicker branch. And this thick branch gives off two arteries before it crosses the inguinal ligament, which I'll outline here. So it gives off the inter inferior epigastric and the deep circumflex iliac. Then it crosses the inguinal ligament and all of a sudden it's magically called the femoral artery. Then we have our internal iliac arteries. So the internal iliac is a little more complicated because it has a lot more subdivisions. So we have anterior and posterior branches coming off the internal iliac and then a lot of smaller branches coming off of those. So let's start with the posterior branch of the anterior iliac. That you can remember using the acronym PILS, P for posterior, and then ILS, which is iliolumbar, lateral sacral, and superior gluteal. Then the anterior branch is a little bit more tricky because it has a lot of arteries and no easy mnemonic has been made. But maybe I can help you remember it using this diagram. So if you were to draw this out and Imagine this is kind of a human abdomen. So this circle right here would be your umbilical cord or your umbilicus. And here we would have a bladder. Then V here would stand for vagina. And then DEF would stand for different. And that'll just make sense in a second. U is uterus. Down here, we have our rectum. Over here on the left, we have our obturator canal which is found in the pelvis. So it's one of these holes uh, right around here where the obturator nerve and artery go through. So just remember that's the obturator canal here on the left. And then here is a piece of poop. So this person has just pooped and we can label that with P. Sorry, not an R, it's a P. So let's say we have our the origin of our anterior branch right here. We can go through and draw a line to each of these segments to help us remember the branch names. So we have first one is umbilical, which goes straight to our umbilical cord. Then our second branch we draw is right to the bladder, so superior vesicle. Uh, vesicle because bladder is a type of vesicle, it's basically a fluid-filled sac. So umbilical and ve superior vesicle, these both deliver blood to the top of the bladder, so they do the, essentially the same thing. Then we draw a line down to the obturator, through the obturator canal, so this is our obturator. And then finally, we draw another line up to the underside of the bladder, which is called the inferior vesicle. So we have our superior vesicle and our inferior vesicle. And why we put the V here is because our inferior vesicle in females is called the vaginal. So it's called inferior vesicle in males and vaginal branch in females. Then we draw a line to the deaf U because our vagina is deferent from our uterus. So that's how we'll remember this little mnemonic trick here. So vagina deferent from uterus. Uh, deaf and U represent the deferent artery in males, which goes to the vas deferens, and U is for uterine artery in females. So these two have are different in males and females. Then we draw a line down here. So this is our middle rectal. And finally, we draw a line down to the piece of poop. So this is our internal pudendal. This is a sort of picture memory trick, but if you want one that I found online, I remember Soie vous, Mr. Pig. So it's a little bit of French for you. Soie is for superior vesicle. O is obturator. I is inferior vesicle. V is also part of inferior vesicle. U is uterine. Uh, Mr. is middle rectal, and then pig is um, 
pudendal and inferior gluteal. So actually inferior gluteal is one of the branches I forgot to mention. So that's why we put the INF. The pu is inferior to the rectum. So you draw an INF right under here. So here are a couple memory tricks. Uh, the anterior branch is really the hardest to memorize. And if you just draw this picture out a bunch of times and remember the little labels, you should get all the anterior branches down. Hopefully this video helped and I'll see you in the next one.